Hey you right guys, Trophy Reacts here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 2 of Ginny and Georgia season 1. Uh, the first episode was fine, it was decent, I think it was good fun, I think the dialogue was a bit all over the place, like sometimes it was okay and then other times it was like... I, I can't tell if they're trying to embrace the cringe, I don't think they are. Uh, a lot of the characters are kind of cringe but I do like the mom, Georgia, she seems pretty cool. And I actually don't mind, I didn't mind Ginny sometimes but then sometimes she just come out with some dialogue that's like what and then that last bit oh bro that's like one of the iconic cringe netflix moments like i think i think you could watch episode one of this show and just say straight away this is a netflix show i mean without all the logos spoiling all that but you know what i mean it was like very clear that it was a netflix show uh so take that as you will but episode two guys if you enjoy make sure to leave a like as it does help the video and it does help the channel and patreon is linked down below if you do want to join us over on there we'll be on around episode seven of season one by the time this one's on youtube uh but for now guys let's do this <laughs> do like the no! ridiculously massive house though Jimmy. Jenny, wake up. Uh, what, Mom? Is there a hair? What time oh, is it? Oh, that's why you're... I can sort of feel it 5 a.m. this, but I can't see it. 5 a.m., Mom. Come on. They are trying to do the Lorelei and Rory vibes, aren't they? Lorelei would do this. Pluck it. It's my first day. I can't show up all Chewbacca. Is this about Paul? No. It's about the fact that aging is a horrible, inevitable death sentence where your body betrays you slowly till you die. Yeah, can't wait for that. It's gonna be fun. We're all crippled and crawling on the floor. For a woman, life is a battle. And beauty is a goddamn machine gun. Goddamn machine gun. I know about masks. My mask never comes off. <laughs> what are we talking Living about? around all the time. I'm too white for the black kids and not white enough for the white kids. Oh, okay. That's what we're talking about. I've never really had friends. You've never really had friends. Okay, my dude, you are putting so many toxic my dude. chemicals on your face. Want Nora to do your contour? She's like crazy good at it. Um, you know, I don't think I have the right color. Oh. oh no, that's definitely too light. I'm like if Casper and Snow White had a baby. Okay. You're so sexy. Well, yeah. That's some mortifying face. Everyone wants to be like me. What, were we all cringing ourselves now? Now? All right, sure. Oh, that was Sophie Sanchez. She's a senior. Sophie she's Sanchez. She's the best ass in school. Oh, she's done cocaine. Oh, well, that's real cool. Light grain is for losers. Abby, be nice. Yeah, we don't bully the nerds anymore. Get wrecked. And here we have Berry Tree. More of the sophomores. Cool sophomores. Oh, wait, our hangout spot's just in the hall? What happened to hanging out in the cafeteria, bro? What the hell? <sighs> has been trying to weasel her way in for years but she is the definition of second tier we're doing a tier list on i mean you know, that is how the world works i guess why are you messing with man what i like jenny okay well i mean she's fine i guess she and hunter would be really uh, good together I, I, actually yeah that'd be my exact response a girlfriend why don't you just date rachel she's gay just because she's gay doesn't mean i want to hook up with her who's rachel hi, hi rachel. rachel you're the worst lesbian which one was Rachel? I don't even know. Ah, <laughs> uh, this prick. Hey, I'm Bracia. You're new, right? Jesus, we just met like 50 new characters, I swear. I mean, I guess you had to get some characters in there. We had the mum, the dad, and a mayor. The, wait, the mum... The dad died, so that doesn't really count. The stepdad. Still, if you ever wanted, you could come hang with me and my friends. So many options to hang out with. Slack, submit your expense reports to AP. Weekend events count as OT. School board meetings are once a month and all the passwords are in the C drive. Whoa. Thanks so much, darling. I'm not your key demographic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Nick. Bring us up to speed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, of course. Uh, I, think, I think he's his demographic. Supposed to separate you from the herd. There was oh, this guy. Hunter Chen is the one to beat. A hundred. Riley Nichols, annoyingly talented. She posted a YouTube cover of an Adele song and hit like 90% of the notes. She's probably gonna get the lead in Sing Sing. And what? We're just saying words now. Shit. Could be worse. Oh, okay. So Hunter's not the one to beat then, because it was, I guess, 
you can't beat a hundred percent. So what are we do, what are we talking about really? You have eight hundred dollars in your account and you just bought that house. <laughs> I mean, she's waiting for that guy to send over the money. I mean, she was on the phone too last step. Paul told me you never completed high school. Aw, what? A candy cane and a smile? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. Paul dates women who smell like persimmons and pilgrims, and you are out of your debt. What? One, two, three. Listen to me. <laughs> Rah. Thank got him. You. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. Star of the week. That bro that kid just looked right at the camera lens. Can you try to pretend that there isn't a crew there? God. I think it's important that we get to know Austin. I don't want to know him. He's weird. Zach. Yeah, super weird. The kid's done literally nothing. Do you want to explain to Austin what Star of the Week is? It's where you bring something awesome that no one else has yet. Alright, I'd bring in 10 grand. It's when you get to bring in something from the outside that represents who you are on the inside. Can huh. you do that for tomorrow, Austin? Oh, Austin's so weird! It's just like, it's the most normal kid ever. <laughs> so what? The kid said I was weird. Hey, you're wonderful. Wellsbury is weird. Literally, when was this out? 20? Just ask the other kid if he wants to play Fortnite. Boom. Have a nice day. Why was that guy mewing? Like, in <laughs> what the fuck? Um, a plan B pill, please? Do you have a coupon? A coupon for a bland... what? No, I don't have a coupon. Ooh. Usually the boyfriend buys it. I'm sorry, do you have an opinion on this? I had sex and now I'm being responsible. Literally, you're working behind the dish. Just shut up and get it. Who are you? What the fuck? Have a nice day. Oh my god, get, I just get slapped. What are we doing? I can't wait to hear about your first day with Yummy Paul. Yummy Paul. It says nice to meet you. Are you liking Wellsbury? Black guy. Uh, on a marble floor. It's something. Cat, I'm so sorry. I can't imagine what you're going through. That felt like AI, what the hell? Hey Georgia, you look amazing as per usual. Yeah, See you later. First. No you don't. C minus doesn't get you out on a weeknight. No and Juliet, but not the sexy one where Claire Danes is all soaking wet on a balcony wearing white. Not that I'm complaining. Clothes kind of hold Claire back. But seriously, this is the boring one with no guns and no cars. We're going for extra credit. Oh, got told I guess. Money please. Max, could you give this to Jenny for the movie? Thanks. What does she really mean? Buy me some weed? I understand half of what she says. Oh, she said was she's going to see Romeo and Julia. What the fuck? <laughs> I just don't understand my kids. Oh, he's going to get booed out of the class for that, I know. What you doing? On the start of the week. Uh, saucy. What? Now they have secret handshakes? Have you even spoke to this kid? Oh wait, no. He's on Bell Street. <sighs> Come on, Dimitri. That's a cul-de-sac. Get your head out of your ass. They've reined her in a little bit, it seems. Or if they were like, we're doing too much with <laughs> this character. Like, she's still, like, kind of the same, but it seems like it's reined back a little bit. She was so over the top in that one. Oh, she just raw dogged a pill. Fairs, I could never do that. They're not going to the movies. What? Where are they Snitches going? Snitches get not stitches, sure. Georgia. Girl doesn't wear heels and lashes to sit in a cold, dark theater with her friend. Oh, why would Maxine lie to me like that? I expect that kind of crap from Marcus, but not from her. Hey. I'm a bad mom. Hey, you're a good mom. Uh, you sure you're av average. Yeah, this accounts for adults. <laughs> you found the real one. You may not like yeah. it. Find the bitch. Oh. Did you say find the bitch or find it bitch? Now we just do a deep dive on her friend's feed to find a tagged photo. And we got it. That was and easy. Now, what? now we wait. For, well, for it to post to a story, I guess. Cynthia? Yeah. She threw a total hissy fit. She thinks that if Wellsbury gets a dispensary, that our kids will turn into stoners. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
Oh ja, ja, ja. Who's doing that? That's really off putting. We want her to sit with us. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. It's actually so embarrassing. So Guys, avoid eye contact. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're kidding. That's a joke that we do. I, oh, that's a joke. That's hilarious. I've never smoked before. What a fun. You sound interesting. Because <laughs> you're the most. Oh my god, the most boring human in the room just spoke up. Watch out. The fuck? <laughs> I made it myself in Pottery Camp Manitou last summer. Yes! Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> oh my god, you're so boring. Oh my god. Oh, yo, does anyone know Vivian Lee? She just requested to follow me. I think she, like, dated Jimmy Ashinsky or something. Yo. Oh. <laughs> Ginny, Ginny knows. <laughs> How many more followers? That's our summer house in Maine. Oh, get wrecked. What the? Oh, she is so dead. Let's see where they really are. 200. That's some random basement. Next door is just some snorting lines off the desk. Imagine. Hunter actually has the second biggest dick of all our friends. We measured this summer. Yeah, Brody's got the biggest. That's probably why he's so dumb. BDD. Which one's Brody? Do it. <laughs> oh my god, Samantha, I have a feeling Hunter's still like in love with you. Oh my god, don't worry, he's definitely not. No, Hunter's all. S Wait, Hunter's the one who hugged her, yeah. Oh, he was such a good boyfriend. Yeah, he's also a great kisser. Right, Jenny? Um, I wouldn't know. From what? Is it average hugger. I've actually made out with all our friends. Laura's the best kisser. Rude! I've never kissed a girl. Uh, about to do that then I guess, aren't we? Where is Hunter? Is he coming? No, uh, he's at SAT prep. Or choir practice. Pretty much whatever the hell it is Bro. that he can do so he can be president. What controller is that? What the hell? So Ginny, which one of your parents is white? Um, my mom. Oh yeah, <laughs> The reaction of the other I'm gonna marry a black man so I can have adorable little mixed baby. Right, that's why you're gonna marry a black guy. Seriously, who the fuck? Mac DeMarco, Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey got so basic. She's so mainstream now. She used to be alternative, but now she just like does whatever society wants. Oh no, you are actually annoying. Okay. <laughs> I think Lady Gaga got really basic since the star is born. Oh god, just shut up. Maybe I just hate Samantha. You love me. Mm, no, I don't think he actually does. Gay nor version because it was revolutionary for its time. But Judy Garland made it camp in the best way. She shows up and she's like, let's do a tap number. Oh, we're doing, we're doing high talk. This amazing amalgamation of the 70s and the women's movement and, and <laughs> How many Star of Borns is, is there? Is there like five? I remember my first tie. <laughs> oh, that's alright. <laughs> ah! And some man throw over here was talking about how basic Lana Del Rey is. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Jesus. Serial killer much? How was the movie? <laughs> Mom, please. I know you know. Uh. I know that we know they know we know. Come gossip to mommy. You never had friends to lie to me about before. It's so exciting. Oh yeah, Jin has never had a friend. Did you smoke? Yeah, is that okay? Did you like it? I was very aware of my arms. Like, mm. what do they normally feel like? I couldn't stop thinking about it. I had that bubble with my fingers. I kept, I kept doing this. <laughs> Just promise me, you'll come to me before you lose your virginity. I mean, too late on that one, though. Promise me. Okay, I promise. Gulp. Mom? Hmm. Is Lana Del Rey basic? Blasphemy! No. I love you, Peach. Peach? Is that because of Georgia, I assume? No, she's Georgia. Is it like Georgia where like peaches have known? I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Do Georgia and peaches have something in r relation, I swear they do. We're not having Ginny. What the hell? Oh, why? Cool. 
Sorry to interrupt the video here, guys. It's just a reminder that we don't take any sponsors on this channel. So this is just kind of sponsored by me. And it's just a short, quick reminder to let you guys know that if you do want to join us over on Patreon, the link will be in the description and the pinned comment down below. You can join us over on there for free to get certain posts, or you can join us for a certain pledge and you can get the early and uncut reactions to pretty much all the shows that I do. Or as another option, you can click the join button under the video. And for just $2 a month, you can get loyalty badges, early access to new videos and priority reply to all comments. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. Now back to the video, whatever video that might be. What's sophomore sleepover? Only the sexiest night of the year. It's when the sophomores sleep at school. What is that shirt, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> what a shirt! Um, I have to pee. Oh, fun! I'll come. <laughs> no, it's cool. I'll meet you there. Later, loser. So he has a girlfriend that he cheated on, you. Yeah? Hey, I know things have been weird. Things aren't weird. You haven't even spoken. I took a pill to be safe, just wanted to let you know. Oh. Mate, you're f what are you? <laughs> May I go to the restroom? You have 10 minutes before class, but fine, yes, go. I basically see myself when I see Holden call. I just slapped him in the face of a tampon for. Oh, that was an accident. I thought that was on purpose, what the hell? It seemed on purpose. Is that my dad wrote me from jail. <laughs> what are you talking about? My dad isn't in a regular jail. In fact, he's a wizard so powerful, he's an Azkaban for dark magic. Mm. We just aren't real, dummy. <laughs> yes, they are. Miss Jacob, tell him. Your face healed quick, didn't it, mate? My drone is real, and it would have been so much better. And plus, there's not even lenses in his glasses. <laughs> Oh, this kid. Me, everybody gets their period. It's no big deal. But like, did it really hit him in the face? I really thought she did that on purpose. <laughs> I was trying to question like, why? My sister's always crave salt. Thanks. What a king. Sorry I wasn't at Brody's last night. I had some last minute tutoring. Tutoring on how to be a king, am I right? These are the two love interests that we serious. Not that gin is all that. Okay, I have to run to auditions, but have fun shopping. Love you, mean it. Hate you, you kidding. kidding. <laughs> totally gonna invite you. Don't worry about it. Uh, you should come. Okay. You and me, baby. Right, you seem so certain. You should come. I guess. What the fuck? Yo, mood. Mm-hmm, you no. are mood. You are mood. Should get it? Definitely. Okay. Oh, okay. Why? What? Gotta steal the mood t-shirt. Out of everything you could have stolen in here, we're going for the mood t-shirt. This would look really cute on you. Go on, go down to that level. Steal! <laughs> that was well obvious. What the hell? I'm not gonna steal. Just like Jesus. Really, someone said the death. There you go. Stop. Instantly, it's well obvious. <laughs> First time stealing and caught. <laughs> Georgia, it's one lunch. I do actually want lunch. To be fair. What? You have a massive crush on Paul. What? N no. No. Absolutely not. I am a professional. I just admire him. You are just as thirsty. It's your turn to get lunch today. Oh, he respects it. You're a real bitch, you know that? Hurry up. I'm hungry. Oh, oh my god, they've become best of friends. They just gotta keep insulting each other and then they'll get they'll connect even more. Get me my lunch, you disgusting cretin! Slay. That's how their conversations all go. What the hell? Lawn bowling? But never. Mom, Ever. I did it. Oh, um, well, yeah. <laughs> did you check the other girl's purses, or are you single out my daughter because she's black? I'll work in the <laughs> Randolph's office, and he'd be fascinated to know that a store in Wellsbury was racially profiling. But she just said she did it. <laughs> did you physically see her shoplift? Yes, a pair of earrings and that. Oh, my God. Oh, I feel faint. Oh, uh, we're doing the Skylar White. I'd love to pay for the earrings. <gasps> And this lovely jacket. Such beautiful okay. things. Who picks all this out? You? What an eye. You take cash. 
Oh, that was easy. So, gals, fun day. We had no idea that Ginny was stealing. <laughs> Jeez, some great Get on friend. home, girls. <laughs> wow. Georgia, hi. Hi. I've been meaning to chat with you. Oh, yeah. Zach was so disappointed that Austin took his Star of the Week slot. He'd been really looking forward to it. Boo! Hope Crammy a river! What the hell? Who gives a shit? I think it's right to switch up the order on the kids, do you? Yeah, but he's the new kid, so why would he... You know, whatever. I hardly think it's Austin's fault that his presentation was such a disaster. Oh my god, you are 57. Get involved in primary school drama, are you serious? What are we doing? We're having a late lunch. I'm tired. Oh, I'm food! Do activity tucker you out? Mom, do you really think I was being racially profiled? I don't know, Judy. No, I think I think she saw you put the earrings in your pockets because it's so obvious. <laughs> but then again, everyone else was really obvious about it as well, so I don't know. I just wanted him to like me. Joe, 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 Joe! Ah, oh. uh, a good character, finally. Ginny's never learned the value of a dollar. She's just been handed things her whole life. And what she isn't handed, apparently, she just takes. I'll come back. And that isn't healthy for character development, so I was wondering... No, I, I'm, I'm not hiring. I was just uh. gonna say we'd love two turkey clubs. No mayo. Extra mayo, and I think you should hire Ginny. Mom! <laughs> really tried. Fine, she could start this weekend. Wow, that was so easy. Thumb there. Index finger locked on the trigger just until you're ready to pull. It's more accurate that way, and you're not a cowboy. Cowboy. You're gonna be a blood eye. You need to learn to defend yourself. Do we have that photo then? Have you ever been to Utah? Oh, yes. High summer there. Well, I'm headed there next. On a long, dusty road. If he doesn't travel there by horse, then what's the point? What? Don't tell me you want to become a blood eye. Do you want a motorcycle gang? Come on. A blood eye, is that what they're called? Clown, frown, and brown are all common nouns. But brown can also <sighs> Sorry, be Sorry, Eminem. Come in. Thank you. All these. These popsicles are for Miss Jacobs' class. Popsicles, so they're all melted from by now because they've been travelled, so... How nice. Everyone, in an orderly fashion... Oh, you don't get one, mate! Get to the back! Courtesy of Austin. Look at that kid who went... <laughs> what the fuck? Schmeagle. Austin. The note is a reminder that your mom doesn't like you to have sugar. Oh, it's from his mom. Wait, no, Austin. He's Austin. All right, never mind, never mind. It's from Georgia. Oh, he got I didn't even realize. Oh, unlucky, mate. Don't look. You're mad at them. What they did? Bullshit. Ginny, you coming to leadership? Ginny. Ginny stole as well. The fuck? She can make her own choices. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, Whatever. Yeah, sure. Hey, guys, I'll be right back. So far, I like Georgia, Austin, <laughs> and Joe. Okay. So we'll see how it all works out. Yeah. You know? Thank this guy is a bit boring. Hi. I'm here with my kids. You have to join us. What's that, Dan? What like coincidence? Um, is my mom's a lying skank. Oh, that's why we're really here. That's unlucky. Follow through. Woo! There you go. Good job, man. Good job, son. <laughs> Wait for it. A door. I wanted to make sure we were cool. Cool? I'm so cool. I'm the coolest. Really? Because you. And I have no idea what I'm doing because that was my first time and it was nothing how I thought and nothing in this town makes sense. Everyone just kisses everyone and that's just fine apparently. And I'm one of seven black kids in the whole school. One of seven? That is actually wild. <laughs> what the fuck? And I've been emotional all day. I. Bro's gonna say something like, stop being hysterical, watch. <laughs> or he'll say, so that just happened. One of the two. <laughs> oh no, he hugged her. Oh my god. That was hugging Ginny. Oh, so dreamy. What a dreamy guy. He's been nothing but an absolute prick. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, hell. Wait, what are we doing? 
We already took plan B, right? It lasts for another day at least. Out. I didn't think I would actually say this, but I genuinely prefer, at, at this point in the show, preferred Conrad in the Sunrad Turn Pre. Actually, to be, to be fair, Conrad was actually alright early on. He's just Mardi, that's all. Oh my god, he Venmoed her with the bill! Oh! Ah! The hell? I was going to say he's cute, but never mind. It's okay to be mad. Mm -mm. I'm mad at you too if it makes you feel any better. I know what you need. Mm -hmm. Come on. Plan C. No, there ain't nothing that I got what? what is going on? You a dance party? Make me a dance party? Oh, it actually is, right. But with no music. They didn't put any music on, so they're dancing to nothing. <laughs> Sometimes when I catch my mom at a certain angle. Oh, the blood eye toe. I bet Zion will come back into it in the finale. Yeah, I mean, you're actually both very similar. You're both stealing stuff. I mean, they're a bit more discreet about it, <laughs> I guess. Oh, bro's flossing. Minus a thousand aura, what the hell. Good. Yeah, this guy's actually just it. racist, I can tell. Wait, you outside? Can tell from the look. Hi there. Just the gun, please. Chew it. Wait, yeah, chew, chew ties? Is it not just chew it? And whatever's in the register. Wow, okay. Well, go right. That's quick. So she's murdered someone, she's robbed stuff, she's pulled off a heist. Oh, hi, hi Miss Miller. Um, is Ginny home? We wanted to see how she was doing. She's inside. Go on in, girls. Morning, girl. Love the shirt, Abby. Oh yeah, the one she stole. Three different stores. But we finally found the right shade. Why? Cause the cosmetic industry's racist. No, I mean, why would you do that? Oh, we felt bad. You're our friend. You said you didn't want to be a friend earlier in the app, but I guess you've bonded over thievery. <laughs> Oh, she's right, um, that's kind of sad. I respect it, though. That's, like, sad but cute. <laughs> Look at that face. So, thank you. I'll say it for it. Oh, you're using his name. Yeah. Oof. That was quick. That was well quick. Did I have to confirm an email or anything? You're kidding me. You got a lot of nerve coming back here. Hey. Or do you try to be your own? Get right. Do it. Hey. Shit his pants real quick. Please. 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 Ah. Oh, oh, okay. Jesus. The already shot his pants real quick, don't I? I'm mean, glad I mean, he didn't have a gun in his face, but oh, whatever. The hiding. Changing. Disguising. Okay. I'm used to not being seen. Even by my mom. Like this, the, this episode's been like, yeah, my mum doesn't know me at all. Like we don't really get on. It's like she hates. It's like what? What? <laughs> Feels like she gets a, a, at least a little bit. I don't know. Whatever. If they don't get each other at all, maybe I'm missing the point. Here's what I found on your ex-husband's widow. George's real name is Mary. She was born in Alabama to mother Daisy Atkins. Her father Shane Riley, currently serving time in New Mexico for voice. attempted murder. When Mary was six years old, her mother remarried a man named Ed Atkins. Now, from age 14 to 18, Mary's lived completely off the grid. Oh, block nose fun. Who are you? There are big gaps in the timeline, because Georgia is always on the move. I'm not letting that trash get Kenny's money. Can we take uh, it down? Oh. I'm headed up to Wellsburg tomorrow. Don't you worry. If there's something, I'll find it. I'll find it. Oh, we got action man on the job. Uh, all right there we go guys that is episode two of Ginny and georgia season one um wow <laughs> uh what's the comments on track so far surprisingly well paced and interesting storylines got a bit weird at the end gives really strong little fires everywhere vibes I've never even heard of that show uh, next one, I like this episode a little less than the pilot. The show is taking some big swings, but some of them feel a bit forced. I started watching because of Katie Douglas, and I hope it carried. Which one's Katie Douglas? Katie Douglas is. Oh, Abby's character? 
is Katie Douglas in like something else that's popular? She was like the friend. Um, oh, she's done quite a lot to be fair already. Jesus, yeah, I don't know what she's like known for or something, but um, yeah, I'm a little bit mixed on this one. I think I preferred the pilot as well. Can this this number keeps calling me? My God, I'm gonna answer in a minute and be like, bro. Please, please leave me alone. I just want peace. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. I, I don't think there's many characters that I like. I think I like Georgia. Um, Austin's cool. Austin's like a cool, not annoying kid, I guess. So that's a win. Uh, and Joe seems all right, but we only had like one moment with him this episode. So we didn't really do much. I guess Ellen's all right, the mum. Uh, but yeah, Ginny, I'm still... I don't know. I'm a bit mixed on Ginny. She's okay, but the dialogue is just like kind of like that one. It's just like I do agree with that comment. Like some of some of it feels very forced uh, or cringe at the same time. It's like we have these two love interests, Marcus, who's an absolute penis, and uh, which one's the oh Hunter, who's just so boring. It's like really they're the two love interests. What the hell? Sure, Maxine. I did not like in that one at all, but they seem to have reined Maxine in a tiny bit, thank God. Uh, she was doing way too much in that one. I think maybe they thought that. I mean, we'll see in future episodes. Maybe they'll go back and she's unbearable again, but she was a lot better this episode. I won't say good, but she was definitely better. Then the other two friends, we have two new friend characters, Abby and Nora. Um, no opinion on those two at the moment, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, it's just like a lot of characters that I don't like at the moment. One, and again, Ginny, while I don't like her, it's like I want to like her more because she is like the main character. Uh, I mean, it's literally called Ginny and George. So uh, we need to hopefully get on board with her character soon. But it's not, I don't know, it's not the best start with the character. And we're just doing a lot very quickly. Um, so, yeah, I, I, it's the dialogue that I have an issue with at the moment. Like, I don't know who these writers are. I don't say who's actually... The writers of the show on track usually it does but not here um so yeah i don't know who the writers are but my god like I say some of it feels a little bit forced um and i don't really know what we're doing with some of these characters at the moment but we'll see uh at one i gave a six to okay i won't say this was below a six though did i give hmm, i did give it a six i preferred up one though but i wouldn't give this like a five i wouldn't say it was that bad I'd go another, we'll go another six then. I'll go another six out of ten. Um, I did prefer F1 slightly, so maybe we boost F1 to like a 6.2, <laughs> just to make it like obvious. But I wouldn't say this was a five out of ten. I wouldn't go low. Um, yeah, it's just the dialogue that I have an issue with at the moment, and I want to be, I want to like these characters more. And the two love interests are both, both horrendous for different reasons. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments, and I'll see you next time for episode three. Until then, take care. Peace.